They could make our lives a whole lot easier. Joining us to explain this morning is John McCauley from Moxley Carmichael. We love when he comes on to share his wisdom of the web. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am great. Glad you're here. Okay, what in the world is a bot? Basically, a bot is this automated application that you send a text request to, and it does something for you. So bots have been around forever, but Facebook has really introduced some cool ones that you can use through Messenger. Okay, explain. So if you want to order pizza or set an alarm or you know shop for clothes, things like that, Facebook thought you ought to be able to do that right from inside their platform. So basically what they want you to be able to do is say, hey, Messenger, I want to shop at Macy's for this sweater and have a SKU number, and then Macy's ship you the sweater based on your Facebook information. It's really cool technology. So it's sort of like a robot is taking over for you. Absolutely. It's <laughs> like having a personal assistant that can take care of all your tasks all in one place without uh, having to go to all these different websites and different apps. This is crazy. Um, okay, so how is this bot within the Facebook app different than other bots? Well, there's a ton of different text bots that you can send text messages to, that you can hit an app and you can send a request to. But with the Facebook Messenger bots, what they're trying to do is say, you're already on Facebook, you're already using Facebook, so let's keep you inside of Facebook uh, doing things that you're already doing and using our service to get the things you need right now. Facebook wants to be your whole life. In yes, other words. they do. How yeah. smart are they? Right now, not too smart. I mean, um, you can do basic things. I got access to bots a few months ago. Most people got them about a month ago at the developer conference. Um, you know, you can't really order the pizza yet. It's, it's, it's hard. You know, they want you to be able to go to a Facebook page, send in a message, and get something back. Uh, but they're not too smart right now. They don't give you as much feedback as you need to get. So setting alarms, scheduling appointments, things like that, that's what they're best at right now. But... We'll see what the future holds. I, I was just going to say, is this like, what does this mean for the future? Are we going to be able to like, basically have s the littlest effort possible to do mundane tasks? Absolutely. That's the, that's the whole idea is artificial intelligence. You know, Zuckerberg said this year would be his year for artificial intelligence where he'd build his own. And uh, I think this is a good start to it. It's weird kind of, you know, I think it's hard for us to adjust to this whole world because Ordering a pizza seems like such a simple task already, so why do we have to simplify it even more? Hey, I think that, uh, you know, used to when you ordered pizza, you had to go in the store, you know, then you had to pull up the telephone that had the rotary thing, you know, then you had, a, you know, you had phone books, now we have apps, we have websites that we can do it. I think people want their lives just to get simpler and simpler and simpler, so um, I, think that, I think that bots will prevail as one of the technologies people use to run big parts of their lives. We are busier than ever. I mean, everybody's doing more with less, it seems, and so maybe this will be very helpful for folks. Where can we find them now? Uh, if you go into Facebook Messenger, you can type in certain requests. Of course, you know, HealthTap has one. You can perform online searches through Messenger. <coughs> Excuse me. But uh, if you Google Facebook Messenger bots, you can see a listing of the ones that are available right now. Um, you know, and some of the cool ones. I think that uh, my favorite one right now is High Poncho. What's you know, that? Gives me the weather. Oh, High <laughs> <Yeah>. Poncho. <coughs> um, Flowers.com, Uber yeah. as well. Flowers.com, the ordering system is a little bit cumbersome, so it can take you a little bit of time to get used to that one. Uber's really cool. <coughs> if you're in one of the larger ride-sharing cities, uh, you can actually order an Uber right through Facebook Messenger by giving it a voice or text request. Uh, that's pretty sweet. It is pretty neat. All right, John, we'll, we'll be talking about lot more I'm sure in the coming months and years absolutely hey thanks for being here hey thanks for having me it's again. great to see you all right we come back after this to wrap up the show don't go away make a transfer pay a bill or even apply for a loan right from your smartphone enrichment federal credit union mobile bank